streaking up and down the court, running the equivalent of three miles every night. It's easy to see that Becca Wan was once a world-class athlete. Now as an official for women's college basketball, she does have a single regret from her playing days. I wish I read the rule book as a player because I think I would have been a better player knowing how to use the rules the way that they're written, you know? Um, I mean, I, I know basketball way better now than I did when I played. Juan was already a very good player. She was named the All-Metro Player of the Year in both girls' soccer and basketball as a senior, and earlier this year was named by the Times-Dispatch as the greatest athlete to ever come from Cosby High School. When it came time to choose a college, she had a short but important list of criteria. I wanted to play Division I, both sports, and I wanted to stay close to home and be able to uh, keep going to my church. The Richmond Spiders offered a soccer scholarship and allowed her to walk on to the basketball team. For three years, she again was one of the best athletes in the program and stayed clear of trouble with the officials somehow. Technical no, actually which is surprising because now I talk to officials who refed me and um, they always said I was a foul waiting to happen. She was named to the USA Under-20 World Cup team for soccer back in 2012 on a roster that included future World Cup champions like Julie Ertz, Crystal Dunn, and Morgan Bryan, all of whom played professionally. Becca was on that path as well until the beginning of her senior year when the Spiders medical staff became concerned about the number of concussions she had suffered. Too many to keep playing. Um, I, so I think five was the number. I mean, you don't actually know how many. I mean, I probably headed the ball 30 times a game. Um, and so, you know, minor impacts add up. They ruled her out for the season after just two soccer games and then took basketball away as well for her future health. Juan describes her senior year as being very tough. I cried a lot. I uh, ran way too many sprints afterwards, just you know, trying to clear my mind and do stuff like that. But you know, in the end, it is what it is, and you can kind of just deal with what you have. Get a stop! Get a stop! What she had was an opportunity to stay close to the game through officiating. At first, it was just intramural games on campus. I actually started refing with my now husband, so that was kind of how we met. Um, was through refing sorority basketball, which is a little bit different level. That led to a chance meeting with the A-10 Conference's coordinator of officials who expressed an interest in having former players become referees. A meeting like that would not have happened if Becca was still an active player. She went to officiating camps and was hired by both the ODAC and Patriot Leagues. She is now up to 11 different conferences for which she officiates and recently worked five games in five different states in the same week. The travel aspect is something that I never realized. You know, you just see, I remember as a player, you just see refs on the court and you don't think like, how did they get here? It's a career path far different than the one she envisioned just a few years ago. She gladly exchanges any possible professional playing career for the life that she and her husband now have. It's funny for me to say this because my career is sports, but I mean, there's more to life than sports. It's exciting every night and I'm still on the court. So it's definitely different, but I wouldn't change it.